Chronic neck pain, I'd like to talk about a case that I've had. This is very typical in my office, a chiropractic office in Woburn, Massachusetts. This is a 59-year-old woman that comes to see me in 2018. She had back, shoulder, neck, and head pain. Her history was, now she started with me this year. Her history was 15 years ago, some neck pain started. Goes to a primary care physician, diagnosed with arthritis. Not much was done. Things perpetuated. Six to eight years ago, she had more neck trouble. She was given a pinched nerve diagnosis by the hospital. Some of that pain went away, but she has some residuals. Five years ago, she started having some frozen shoulder issues. It started on the right side, then she had some physical therapy and it improved, then it started on the left side, she had some physical therapy there and it improved, but she had some ongoing residuals in her shoulders, more on that in a moment. One month ago, prior to her coming in to see me in 2018, she started a new job with a long commute, a long driving commute, which flared up her neck pain even worse. So by the time she came to see me, this was her range of motion. And she really was not happy in the car, and it was not a good situation for all of us in the car to only be able to turn this much. And that's all she had. Now, she's only 59 years old, coming in with a neck that just was not working at all. She rated her neck pain as a constant 2 to 3 over 10. At the end of the day, it was much worse, a 7 over 10. And if she pushed the range of motion, she would get pain up to 9 over 10. I gave her the diagnosis. So I did my examination. We didn't take any additional x-rays. I did my uh, 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 chiropractic work and exam. We diagnosed her with spinal misalignments, a loss of curve in her neck from prior studies. We knew that the arthritis was already there, so we didn't need to go into that any longer. But we diagnosed her with a disc and joint condition in her neck. We started her with chiropractic treatment. Now, her chiropractic treatment did not involve any manual adjustments at all. I used a light force instrument, my light drop tables in the office, very gentle, very conservative work, and obviously a variety of stretches and exercises at home to complement the chiropractic care on, uh, in the office. We also gave her a light traction activity where she rolled up a towel, put it behind her neck. I would only do that if you're under consultation with a doctor or a therapist. But I gave her that as a nice gentle tractioning of the curve in the neck to rehabilitate that curve. So the results. In one month, now she had chronic pain over the span of 15 years. In one month, when she, she stated, I couldn't move my neck when I started treatment. Now she can move quick and easy. 80% overall improvement in one month. Her comments included her condition has improved greatly, care has been excellent, her condition was fully explained as well as the treatment options. So we continued because she wanted to get further improvements. Uh, there's a, um, there's a, a study that we can do in the office where somebody fills out a questionnaire to determine how much pain they are and how much it's affecting their day-to-day -day activities. When she filled out this form initially, it was a score of 40, okay? So, if you were terrible pain, everything bothered you, it would be a 40 over 40. So her initial score on this test was a 20 over 40. Four weeks later, it was a 5 over 40. And then 10 weeks into care, so two and a half months, the score was a 1 over 40. So it went from 20 over 40 to 1 over 40. 10 weeks in, she stated, I have no pain. She can move her head and neck with no pain whatsoever. 90% improvement. Now remember that she had the residuals of the frozen shoulders. They worked, but they didn't work well. She couldn't lift them up more than that. She said, range of motion of both my shoulders is much better. I can reach behind me and clasp my hands together. And she has not been able to do that in years. I did not do any shoulder work. It was only neck work, but her shoulders gained that freedom over time. And she also told me she had been doing ballroom dancing with her husband. There was a lot of maneuvers that she couldn't do because she shouldn't get her hand, couldn't get her hands up. Now a lot of those ballet maneuvers she could do now because of the freedom of her shoulders. Simple, straightforward case. A woman, 59 years old, chronic neck pain, solved with chiropractic care and home exercises. I'm Dr. Scott Fuller.